Well, if you've ever played sports in the Salem-Kaiser area at any level in the past four decades, chances are that a man named Cheeseburger was either coach, umpire, or an official. Fox 12's Nick Krupke tracked down the capital city legend who is an all-time character in the community. I'm in a witness protection program. Man. <laughs> at 73, legendary Salem official John Witherspoon is still doing it well. They all seem to remember you. None of them seem to throw rocks at you or anything. No shot! The man better known as Cheeseburger has been doing it his own way since moving to the capital city from Cheyenne, Wyoming in 1965. How'd you get the name Cheeseburger? Oh, back in high school, I went over to Bob's Hamburgers and had 25 cheeseburgers, seven french fries, two chocolate shakes, and coke for lunch one day. Of course, that's how the legend came to be, but it almost was not. Cheese was just John at the age of 12 when he was involved in a severe car accident. Kind of pulled into a spare tire into the back of my head. Witherspoon spent the next three months in the hospital. Three of his brothers did not survive the crash. I would say it probably took you 30 years or more to yeah. get to where you didn't cry and sob about it and kind of, yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah. Get all choked up and whatever. I don't do a lot of this stuff. <laughs> the North Salem High School alum had to craft his own path into sports. Due to the accident and all the head injuries and all that whatnot, they didn't let me take gym class all the way through school. Okay. And they wouldn't, my parents and everybody wouldn't allow me to play any kind of sports because they afraid to get whacked in the melon again, you're going to die off. All right, we're shooting two. Cheeseburger got into the game by coaching, volunteering, umpiring, officiating, and mentoring through Salem Little Leagues, the Boys and Girls Club, and at Four Corners Elementary School. You're keeping them out of cop cars, you're keeping them in school, and you're teaching them how to get along in the world, quit being a bunch of bozos and whatnot. It's a real good investment, I think. Yeah. Monetarily wise, it is, it's not good for me, but it's good for them. It's all love for Cheese, who runs a small auto repair shop to pay the bills. The community teamed up on a GoFundMe effort to assist him in getting a pacemaker seven years ago. Something like that happens, you find out, hey, you know, there's a lot of them out there. I guess they care about you because they dug into their wallet and yeah. made the fat man get well. You know, so over there. <laughs> Cheeseburger was recently a reluctant recipient of the Spirit of Salem Award for his decades of service by the Chamber of Commerce. Thanks for the award. I think you should have found somebody better to give it to. I don't do this crap where I get an award and a pat on the back and, hey there, attaboy, come on over here. You know. It ain't just me. I mean, you got to figure that if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing. Thankful people like that are around. Yeah, you just do what you can do. And, I guess the big dog upstairs said you're supposed to be chewed on all your life, so get your ass out there and get chewed on, so there I am. You know. What a bite of life. With the legend of Cheeseburger and his paradise of Salem, Nick Krupke, Fox 12, Oregon. All right, first ball is hot, so play it.